in lecture, you've learned about acid-base equilibria and the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. These concepts can be used in lab to help us separate acidic and basic organic functional groups from mixtures of organic compounds. To begin to understand this, let's think about the reaction of a weakly acidic functional group, say a carboxylic acid, with water, which is in equilibrium with the acid's conjugate base and H3O+. Since this is a weak acid, its Ka is relatively small, and if we started with a solution that just contained the acid itself and pure water, there's not much of the conjugate base present at equilibrium. In order to find the actual pH, we'd construct an ice table, and if we know the initial concentration and the Ka of the acid, we could figure it out. Another way to determine the pH of the solution is to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, which tells us that the pH of the solution is equal to the pKa of the acid plus the log of the conjugate base concentration divided by the conjugate acid concentration. This equation actually shows us something that can be very helpful in the lab. The ratio of conjugate base, A minus, to conjugate acid, HA, has a mathematical relationship with the pH of the solution. A plot of pH on the x-axis versus the conjugate base to conjugate acid ratio on the y-axis is called a Henderson-Hasselbalch plot. To see what these plots look like and what they tell us, let's start with the point where the conjugate acid and conjugate base concentrations are equal. When this is true, the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation tells us that pH equals the pKa of the, of the acid. For a carboxylic acid, that's about 5. As you decrease the pH, you're increasing the concentration of H3O plus in the solution, and by Le Chatelier's principle, the equilibrium shifts left. The concentration of HA increases, and the concentration of A minus decreases, and the curve looks like this. If we go back to our 50-50 point and start increasing the pH, we reduce the amount of H3O plus present, and the equilibrium shifts to the right. The concentration of A minus increases, and HA decreases, and we have a curve that looks like this. So how is this useful? In general, the water solubility of neutral organic molecules, like HA, is substantially lower than the solubility of organic ions, like A-. So by shifting the pH of a solution, we can change the preferential solubility of A. At low pH, the compound is primarily in its neutral, uncharged form, HA, so probably prefers to be dissolved in, in an organic solvent. And at high pH, the compound is primarily in its deprotonated, anionic form, so has much greater water solubility. So by controlling the pH of a solution, we can alter the preferential solubility of acidic and basic functional groups. This enables us to separate them from other compounds using liquid-liquid extraction.